Hey guys, welcome to the Jemito tutorial. If you find the video useful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell icon to get the updates on the latest videos. So let's get started. In the today's session, we'll see what is listeners and how to add listeners in JMeter and what is the use of listeners. So we'll see all of these. So first of all, why, what is listener and why it is required? So listeners are used in JMeter to display the results, to show the results. So by with the help of listeners, we can we can see what is our results, what is the response we are getting from the server. We can check the response from the listeners. And there are several listeners in the JMeter and all the listeners have different format. They display the result in different formats. So we will look into them one by one and we will look into the different formats of the listener. So let's get started. So I will take the requests from my previous session There we had taken two requests that is to launch Wikipedia and to search in Wikipedia. And I had added one listener last in the last session that is the view results tree. So I will add some more listeners in today's session. So for that you will navigate to the thread group, right click on the thread group and here there is an option add. In the add option there is several there are several options so you will navigate to listener and here you will see there are a lot of listeners available so i had added view results in tree so so today i will add some more listeners that is view results in table and let me add some more listener so i will add this aggregate report and i will add this graph results so these all are the listeners that i have added and we'll look into them one by one so i have taken the number of threads as five loop count as one and i will start the execution now so let's get started for the execution so yes my execution is over with number of users five and the iteration as one so it is over so we'll look into the listener one by one. So first of all, I will take view results tree. This is view result tree listener. So I had also mentioned in my previous sessions also. So uh, how to validate the response from the listener. So I have taken from the drop down first. We will look into the text portion. So this is the launch Wikipedia request. You can see from here what request got passed. From here, this is the response data tab. Click over there, you will get two options. That is response body, response header. You can validate what all are the content over here in the response header. What is the content of the response body? You can check from here. So these all are the options available. So I had taken the text. You will write, you will click on the drop down and you can get multiple options over here. You can see there is a uh, reg express tester, there is expert tester, there is HTML. I will click on the HTML and you can see the HTML page. What is the in the response? What is the HTML page which we got? So this is the page we got for launch Wikipedia. This is the page we got for search in Wikipedia. And in that way, you can validate your response from the view result tree listener. Now we will move to view result in table here we'll see one by one what all stuffs are available in view result tree view result in table listener so first is the sample number so this all is the sample number for all our samples the next option is the start time so what is the start time this is the start time of the request which we send okay and the next option is the thread group so what is this thread group sorry what is this thread name thread name contains the name of the thread group that is the thread group this thread group comes here thread group and what is this one 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 two one three so the first one denotes the iteration number 
so as i have given only one loop count so all first is only one because the loop count is one so this is one and what is this second one this is the number of user so one one means first iteration first user first iteration second user first iteration third user fourth user fifth user and all these belong to the label so what is this label uh, this thread name belongs to this label and this thread name belongs to this label this thread name belongs to this label how this is how the uh, connection is done and the next is the sample time so what is this sample time this is the response time which we get from the from the server to the client so all these are the response time for all the requests okay so now coming to the status so what is the status status in jmeter by default if uh, let me show you with an example view result tree and the sample result so if we have response code as 200 and if we have response messages okay then in the status you will see the green color that means the status gets passed if we don't have the response code as 200 or response messages okay then the status is failed and the, it will be showed in red color this is the default setting but with the help of assertions we can have the status defined by us so if uh, so we we'll look into assertion in detail in coming uh, sessions as of now you can remember that if the assertion gets failed then my overall status gets failed and the status will be shown in red but if my session gets passed then that means my overall response gets passed and the status will be shown as green so this is about the status and now my next option is bytes so what is this bytes this is the bytes which is received from the server to the client and this is the sent bytes that means these are the bytes which is sent to the server from the client okay and now coming to latency so what is this latency latency is the time it is the total time just before starting of the request to the time when we got the first response so let me show you with an example suppose we have a time line starting from 0 millisecond 9 millisecond then 10 millisecond so my request started my request started at 10 milliseconds and it got sent till 15 milliseconds so this overall let me color it this overall is my sent response request sent time okay my request got sent at 15 milliseconds my request started getting sent at 10 milliseconds and it got sent at 15 milliseconds and now suppose at, uh, let me change the color now at 17 milliseconds i got my first response and at 20 milliseconds i got my final response so my response started at 17 milliseconds and total response we got at 20 milliseconds i will color it in other so yes so here what is latency latency is the time oh, give me a second so latency is the time just before sending of the request that that is just before 10 milliseconds okay so latency is the time just before sending of the request to the time which when we got our first response that is 17 milliseconds so this not this delete this one so this overall time is the latency we can say this time as latency
so this is my latency time just before sending the request to the to the first response when we got this is the latency okay this is latency and now what is this connect time connect time is the time which it took to make a connection between the request between the client and the server and it also includes the ssl handshake so these are all the options which are available in view results in table and it provided a lot of information to us and now we will see aggregate report so what is aggregate report it accumulates all the results for a particular label in a single line so here you will see there are only two lines in the view result table there were multiple lines for all the labels for different iteration first iteration first user second iteration second user it displays the result in this format but in aggregate report you will see in a single line for a particular request so here the first option is label this is that is the launch and the search wikipedia this is the label and this is the number of samples so for this level what is the number of samples for this level what is the number of samples it shows this okay and this what is this average this is the average response time which we got okay and what is this median so median means half of our uh, there are there several requests so half of our or half of our request took more than this time and half of our request took less than this time this is the mean of median response time okay now coming to the 90% line so what is this 90% line 90% of the request took not more than this time okay this is the meaning of 90% line sorry the not request 90% of the response took not more than this time this is the meaning of 90% line and similarly for 95% line and 99% line that is 95% of the response didn't took more than this time and 99% of the request sorry 99% of the response didn't took more than this time for launch wikipedia and 99% of the response didn't took much much more time than search wikipedia this is the 99% line now coming to min so what is this min this is the minimum response time among all the response time for all the samples so this is the minimum response time and what is maximum response time maximum response time is the maximum of the response time among all the samples for this label and the maximum response time among all the samples for this label this is the maximum response time okay so now coming to this error percentage so as we didn't get any error so this is zero but if we get any error that will be shown in a percentage format in this column okay so coming to the next option this is the throughput so as everybody knows throughput is the amount of request which got processed per unit time so here it is in seconds so we can read it like 3.8 requests per second got processed for launch wikipedia and 2.5 requests per second got processed for search in wikipedia this is the throughput now coming to received kilobytes per second so what is this this is the amount of response which got received in kilobytes per second and this is the amount of request which got sent in kilobytes per second and this is the total value so these are all the stuff which are available in aggregate report and it is also very very important because it it shows what, what is the health of the response what all our response we are getting if we are if we are having multiple of users in the request if we are sending so what to check the health of the response this is the very important report which we got as aggregate report okay so this is the this was about aggregate report now moving to graph results so here since we have taken very less amount of users so the graph is not visible let me show you by increasing the number of users so i will take the thread count as 20 and loop count i will take it as forever and i will do the execution again let me remove this 
result and I will start the execution again. And now you will be able to see the response in the graph result tree in a very good manner. Here there are multiple options that is graphs to display. Here you have average, median, deviation, throughput and if you don't want any option to be displayed over here you will just uncheck that and you can see the blue color is gone. So blue denotes the average and similarly the color matches deviation is this line, throughput is this line. So if any of the thing which you don't want you can uncheck it from here and hence that graphs will be shown and this is very good as a visual format of the results so yes the, the graph results are also important now i will stop the execution as i have done it as a forever so yes my execution is over so we have seen the execution in the listeners now if i want to save the result in a file so how to do that let me show you here i am in view results tree and if you want to save it in a file there is an option this is the option file name here you need to give the full path, file path where you want to save the result so let me add a file path i will add a file path in my project folder okay this one is added okay I will copy this and I will add the file name as result1.csv. Okay, I have given the file name. Now you will see there is one configure button. So what is this? Let's click on that. Here there are several options which you want in your file. So, I have taken some of the options which are standard. You can take any of other options as well in your file if you want those to be included. So, whatever options will be checked over here that will be included in my result file. So, I am not making any changes here as of now. So, let's close this. I will click on done. So, I have given the file. And now I will do the execution again and we will see whether my report file got generated or not. So I will again give the loop count as 1, number of threads as 5 and I will start the execution. So my execution got started and it is over now and we will see whether my report got generated or not. So yes, you can see my report got generated and clicking on the result 1. So yes, my result got generated and here the options are there that is the timestamp, elapsed, what is the label, what is the response code I got, what is the response message I got, all these options are available. So by this way we can generate the report also. So that was all about the listeners and in the coming session we will learn some of the other interesting facts of the JMeter. Okay, thank you, have a nice day.